For the last five months, Johnny Matini has been living with the most advanced robotic arm in the world. This is the first time it's been out of the lab and in someone's home. It's part of a project that began more than a decade ago, when the U.S. military started funding work to design a limb that could replace the human hand and arm. Johnny's more than a quarter of the way through the first ever take-home study, a year-long test designed to push the arm to its limits. But Johnny started seeing those limits almost right away. Perfect. Anything interesting, exciting from the last few weeks? Well, I started the next day after you left. <laughs> oh, no. The biggest thing is the ring finger would fall out. The middle finger was screwed up. Just got it back, the middle finger screwed up. The little finger either stays all the way down like this, or it'll it'll be bent back like this. How, how are things? Okay, go ahead and guess. Uh, the arm broke. <laughs> In the first three months, Johnny had more than a dozen technical issues with the arm. Yes, I felt the arm go. And he sent it back to the lab at Johns Hopkins University three times for repairs. But in a way, this is part of the plan. I really didn't expect it to be this bad right off the bat. But I mean, you know, this is why I'm doing it first. This isn't just about learning how to use the arm outside of the lab. It's also about learning how to fix it when it breaks. Off right on now. This is what it looks like when you get a computer as a limb. Sometimes Johnny can fix things on his own, but when it comes to the software inside the arm, Johnny turns to Robert Armager, the lead researcher on the project. Hey, guys. Hey, Bobby. From a thousand miles away, Robert plugs into the arm and programs it, sort of like a surgeon working remotely. Okay. Three, two, one, go. This is also how they update the arm with new hand movements and adjust things like speed. Here, Johnny's having an issue with the pinch movement. The thumb is going down under the tip of the finger. Yep. Sometimes Robert needs a closer look. All right, so let's... It's kind of remarkable to watch, and they solve a lot of problems this way. That's it, right there. You're the Bingo. man. You're the man, Bobby. But nothing compares to getting together in person. Yes, How are you? It's good to see you. Good to see you. So every two months, Johnny comes into the lab in Maryland. It's like being back home, right? And hands over his arm, almost like bringing a car in for a tune-up. We have a list of things that we want to get to you. So we're just trying to adjudicate what we choose to do now and what we leave on the table for another time. To save time, engineers work on different parts of the arm simultaneously. Just do it once over on all the fingers. All of this, the repairs, the phone calls, the in-person meetings are important. It's a constant loop of feedback and modifications that over time seem to be making the arm better. In the last six weeks, Johnny hasn't had any issues with the arm. One of the things they're working on right now is a more heat resistant glove. And they're hoping that will make the performance even better. And this is my garden. And despite all the early issues with the arm, Johnny has accomplished a lot. And we have carrots growing. Like this garden. Things are starting to come alive. And then there's the piano. One of Johnny's goals is to learn Amazing Grace by the end of the year. This is not a prosthetic arm. This is my arm now. We are not just a couple, we are one. You can do anything in a lab all you want to. There's gonna be things that, that's not gonna show itself in lab. So it's a little rocky and it's painful, but you know, if you want the relationship to try to continue and strive, you just have to be patient. Hey, thanks for watching. Johnny's got a lot more practicing to do and we'll be sticking with him, so stay tuned.